So we had a, a visitation in the solar system a little while ago by um, a Mua Mua. Did I pronounce it right, Abby? Very well, yeah. <laughs> now, was that an alien civilization exploring, or was it just a lump of space rock that happened to be passing through uh, the gravitational field of our solar system? Abby, I, I know you have opinions on this. Uh, yeah, well, I, I have a book that came out a few months ago. This object didn't look like any comet or asteroid that we have seen before. It was the first object from outside the solar system that we spotted near Earth. And it was um, flat in its shape based on the analysis of the reflected sunlight. Uh, it was pushed away from the sun by some excess force that declined inversely with distance squared. And there was no cometary tail coming off it. Uh, there was no gas around it. So. Um, I simply suggested that maybe it's a very thin object, like a sail being pushed by reflecting sunlight. And there was such an object that we produced, a rocket booster that was discovered in September 2020, called 2020 SO, just to demonstrate the concept. At any event, uh, I wanted to highlight the fact that, you know, uh, as Jocelyn mentioned, over the past 70 years, we've been searching for radio signals. And that is uh, just like trying to speak on the phone with a counterpart and you need the counterpart to be alive. And in my view, mo most chances are the, that most of the civilizations, technological civilizations that existed are dead by now. They had a short window of opportunity where we could have communicated with them, but they are not around. And so the best method to find evidence for them is to look for relics that they left behind, equipment they sent into space. And the discovery of Oumuamua is, is a wake up call. And of course, the best uh, way to figure out whether an object is artificial or natural, you know, it's just like when you go on the beach, you know, you see most of the time rocks that are naturally produced, but every now and then you see a plastic bottle. And so what you want to do is if you get an alert of an object as weird as Oumuamua was, you want to send a spacecraft with a camera that will intercept its trajectory and take a close up photo. And, uh, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, in my case, a picture is worth 66,000 words, the number of words in my book. I wouldn't need to write the book if we had a close-up photograph. Now, ESA have commissioned something called the Comet Interceptor, um, which um, I'm super duper excited about because um, it's going to be launched before it knows where it's going. Um, and then when a, a, a comet or something useful comes in, then it can and set off to, to make a trajectory. So would that type of instrument work for, for your, your goal to take a photograph of a, an extraterrestrial passing through our solar system? Yes, uh, definitely. And there was the OSIRIS-REx. That's another mission uh, that actually landed on the asteroid Bennu not long ago and took a sample from it, took a photograph and a sample. It looked like a rock and it will bring back the sample to Earth in 2023. So just imagine us landing on an artificial piece of equipment, reading off the label made on planet X and importing the technology to Earth. You know, it could represent something in our future. It, the experience would be just like uh, getting access to a cell phone long before it's offered to the public and enjoying all the features that it gives you. Now, Justin, you described this sort of uh, trying to sort of search for things that have been set out a, bit, a little bit like a needle in a haystack. What, what were your opinions of what Abby's saying here? Uh, I believe there's been a second visitor from a, another solar system. I think Oumuamua has had a successor, one that we haven't seen nearly as well and we don't have pictures of it, but... Uh, an object came by, I think, in 2020. I'm not 2019, yeah. 2019. Yeah. Yep. Um, and its trajectory means it must have come from another solar system. So that's the nearest we've got to kind of direct contact, and it's and it's pretty indirect. But it's interesting that we're now in a position to be able to pick up some of these visitors from other solar systems. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.